Hello friends, welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning how to post the opening entries of bank in the tally. Now, I am showing you our opening BRS as we discussed in one of the lecture that we have issued the check to Kingsway Hotel. We have received the check for, from Kingsway Hotel and we had issued a check for electricity expenses to BSES. Now see how we'll prepare the opening BRS for unreconciled statement. Now I'm going back to my tally. In some mixture traders, what we have to do, we have to select banking over here. This is the option under utilities. And here you have to select your bank reconciliation. Now select your account number and the account. Now here, the option you can see is opening BRS. So you have to press Alt U. As you press Alt U, here this is showing a pop-up screen for unreconciled details for HDFC bank account. Now I am preparing this detail. I am writing here for 31st March 2020. I have Kingsway Hotel from which I had received a check. This is deposits as I have received the check and deposited in bank. This is the check and I'm giving here the name SBI Jyotinagar and I'm debiting the amount with 10,000 rupees. Then the instrument number of that check. Now the date and the next transaction belongs to electricity expenses. That is electricity expenses. This is the way how you can bring your unreconciled transactions of last year to this year so that you can make a proper bank reconciliation statement. Now, this is our withdrawal and the check. This belongs to BSES. I had issued to BSES for rupees 2000. Then the check range we can select. See, in the last lecture, we had understood about the check range, setting the checkbooks. So from here, I'm pressing space bar and you can select from the list of range that from which range you had issued the check. So I issued the check from my old book. This is the instrument number and this is the date. Now, these were the only two unreconciled transactions that belongs to my last financial year. So I am accepting this screen here. And now you can see in the reconciliation, these two transactions as on 1st April 2020 are put under unreconciled transaction and you have to put here the bank date as and when you find these statements in your bank statement. You have to match these two transactions with your bank statement and on the date that the bank is reflecting this, you have to put on that date over here. We'll be discussing in the next lecture how we can put in here the bank date and we'll be following the lecture with some more transactions in the bank lecture.